could be nice that way. Yeah. So they're letting oh, things are flashing. I think what we're going to do is put for 25 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just follow. Patty, could you tell us your reaction to American audiences to Irish music? Well, it seems to be growing and growing. Well, as, it, as they would say in, in Gaelic or in Irish, you know, okay. it's just becoming fantastic altogether. Uh, we seem to be tra traveling, touring America more and more every year. This year we've got four tours. In fact, between now and uh, incidentally, this is our holiday month. Uh, August is the holiday month when we, uh, in fact, go um, take completely off. There's such a demand for festivals. The Milwaukee Festival, of course, a great one, and it's fantastic. Uh, we did the Knoxville, the World Fair at Knoxville, and that was great. And it was a tremendous exercise altogether. I really enjoyed it immensely. Uh, Syracuse, and uh, we were down to Austin, uh, Houston, as well, and had a great time. But most of what we've done is most of, a couple of the families are out on the Cape Cod and uh, got a house each out there and, and so we're commuting all the time, coming back and forward and having a terrific time. America's marvellous altogether. How have the Milwaukee audiences been? Well, I tell you, the, the, the total reaction and, and the feeling around is, is, is very, very warm altogether. Um, we, we did our first set last night and that was tremendous altogether. Fantastic, great reaction to it. And, some people have sort of said we could have gone off for an extra half an hour, maybe, you know, perhaps. But uh, we're just work looking forward to it tonight again now and working out a, a programme. We've got the fireworks going on, which is going to be tremendously interesting. Uh, so we're going to split our programme in two. Uh, this is what I'm working on at the moment, uh, in order to take in the fireworks. For their pleasure and also for our own pleasure, because uh, we, we adore fireworks displays. <laughs> What are some of the songs uh, the Milwaukee audiences seem to enjoy? Do they recognize the songs? Oh, they do. The minute we get into any of the familiar ones from favorite albums or that, they, they recognize them. And particularly the last album, Chieftains 10, um, that gas piece that we do at the end, Cotton Eye, Joe, uh, Derek finds his piano and jumps on and has a bit of gas. <laughs> but uh, that's that's only a bit of fun at the, at the end of a concert. No, they, they, they recognize, you know, he also recognised very much the solos, each fellow getting up and doing his own party piece, as we, as we call it, uh, playing his own selection of music, whatever he feels like at the time, and it's always totally spontaneous. That's always uh, really a showstopper. What seems to be the most favourite song in the crowds? I don't know, well, it's very hard to know. Um, we go into, we often go into Drowsy Maggie, our opening piece, and once they hear that, Drowsy Maggie, it's, it's, uh, that's our sort of a kicker off. It gets us in, into form and we, and we play little solos as well in between. And uh, I think that's, a, that's, that's always been a great one. Fanny Power, which we played last night, was a Carolyn one. It's becoming more and more popular every day. We're not playing it tonight, we have to change around a little bit. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be any, any sort of most of the tunes, they like to hear the new ones and they come and com comment on the new pieces. Uh, they also like to, if you don't play some of the old ones, you're in dreadful trouble. Tonight we, we do intend to do uh, a selection of, of our old favourites going over, over the last 20 years, uh, taking in Manana Hare and Women of Ireland and um, Tim Pan Reel and uh, some of the old Carolyn favourites as well. And a tune like uh, Brian Brew's March, which Incidentally, they're going to make a, a, a film out of Brian Baru. Uh, it's called The Line of Ireland. That's going to happen um, maybe September or March next year. And we've been asked to do the theme music for the, for the film. Um, what about, uh, how would you rate the Milwaukee Festival compared to other Irish festivals you've uh, been at as far as the lineup of talent? Or Yes, well I haven't played in America, I haven't played at any Irish Irish festivals in the past. Um, I, d I did the, the Chicago Fest, which was fantastic, I really enjoyed that, that about two years ago. Um, we played at Irish festivals at home of course, and uh, they, they were terrific all right. You know, I find this the interest here and the total cross-section of people that are coming to it, like they're, they're not just coming to, they're, they're coming on spec to find out what, what's it all about. And there seems to be, uh, there seems to be a tremendous um, hospitality going around, tremendous feeling of everybody. I'm not 100% keen, incidentally, on the 
and the shamrocks and heather and leprechauns and all that sort of rubbish. But uh, 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 it's a great pleasure for us to come and play for such a tremendous audience, huge crowd. And uh, they, as I say, the feeling is there. And walking, just walking around, looking for a sandwich before we went on. Um, uh, I had to get back in again because I would never go. I didn't get me sandwich. <laughs> uh, just people just wanting to chat to you and shake your hand. And what are you going to play tonight? And how is Sean? And how is Derek? And how is everybody? You know, it's 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 really great. It's just a big family gathering of what I don't know, many thousand, maybe a hundred thousand or more than thirty-five. Not the biggest audiences we've ever played to. It's, uh, we did. Our last concert coming out of Dublin was for the Rolling Stones. And, uh, that had 85,000, but previous to that, a couple of years ago, we played for the for uh, his son, the Pope, when he came to Ireland. And we had 1.3 million people. And I think that's a record. That's for the Guinness Book of Records. Would you come back to the Melodic Fest someday? I'm hoping we're going to be asked, indeed, yes. Maybe not next year. I think we've, we've got France and Germany lined up for next year, but uh, maybe after that, we're delighted to come back. We're enjoying it immensely. And they're wonderful people. Everyone here is terrific. You know, the hotels and the hospitality and, uh, you know, they're looking after you. There's people there at the hotel to look, make sure you get on the bus and to get your lift and is there anything they can do for you. It's really great, really enjoying it.
Yeah, we put them 
It's a great idea. Are you I really for the mass do. Also? Yes, we came for the mass. I think it's a wonderful idea. There, we, I guess we don't realize how many people are really strapped in the city and how lucky we are that we can bring each one. Is this something. your first time at Irish? No, Day? I was here last year. Were you? Yes. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. What do you think of the idea of bringing the food? I think that's a very, very good idea that brings more people here and it's good for what they're going to do with the food. You know, are you here for distributing the mass also? it? Yes, I am. Is this your first time at Irish Fest? No, it isn't. I was here last year also. Thank you. You're welcome. Ma'am? Yes, sir. What do you think about the idea of bringing food? Yeah. I think it's marvelous. I think it's, it's a wonderful way to help. In How did you hear of the idea? I heard it on TV and then I read it in the paper first. Are so you here for the Mass also? Yes. It's the first time at Irish Fest? First time at Irish Fest. Would you return? I haven't been here yet, I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank you. Ma'am, can we talk to you a second? Sure. What do you think of the uh, bringing food? Oh, I think it's great. First time at Irish Fest? No, this is our second year here. We're from Chicago. Here. We came last came especially year. Especially for Irish Fest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and we came here Thursday. We were here last year and we came back again. And we'll be here next year. Thank you. <laughs> Me? Yeah. Sure. What do you think of the idea of bringing food? What do you think of the idea of bringing food? Fine. I think I think that should be besides the uh, the ticket. Are you here that, for the mass also? Yes. That's First right. time at Irish Fest? No. I've only had it once before and I was here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> See you then. Okay. So we'll get them. Okay. We'll get them next. Oh, we like. just stopped. All right. Well, that's okay. what I to say. We just stopped. All right. Help. We just stopped to help because we feel that this food collection is really <laughs> terrific for Milwaukee. It's for the poor, and there are so many of them out there. And so we felt as Daughters of Charity would like to help the St. Vincent de Paul Society. There are a lot of poor out in Milwaukee, and they're going to benefit by this food. Collectors of this food. How many volunteers from the We have five from our parish, from our St. Patrick's uh, parish. And we and St. Gauls are the two representative groups down here. How many, uh, where is St. Gauls? Well, St. Patrick's is Irish parish on uh, 7th and Washington, and uh, St. Gauls is on 3rd and Clark, north side. And is this going to be, what use will you put the food for? For food banks. They're to give to the poor when they don't have any money for food, we'll give them, give them food so they can eat, feed their families.